first. Cecilia Sinclair joins us right now with an update. Well, thank you very much. And we want to debut for you our dual polarization radar right now. We have one of our Fox Red Storm Seeker radar experts in the house at this time to show you what this is. You see, most radars send out a beam in one direction, but this one sends it out in two directions. And that makes it much better able to delineate between snow, freezing rain, and just plain old rain. And right now we have it in that wintry weather mode right now. All of what you're seeing here in blue, this is rain combined with the little spotty areas showing freezing rain and sleet. And so that's what we're talking about, the rain and the freezing rain. But these little dots, that's indicating some sleet. And it called, sometimes it's called grapple. That's what's showing up here as we pixel query this. So this is a new product that we have. We'll be refining it over the next uh, several weeks, getting used to it, working closely with the National Weather Service because they will also be accessing this information. This is a radar that is unprecedented. It is probably the most powerful radar combination in the entire world because of the fact that we have million watts of power as well as this in extremely advanced dual polarization technology just showing you some of the areas that are harder hit right now and this is one of the places that we're most concerned about I know this DBZ is kind of like a technical thing and we're going to work on that to try to make it a little bit more uh, reader and viewer friendly but it's showing that there is some ice falling right now on the southwest freeway Right now, we have Cecilia Sinclair as well as J.D. and Forrest. We're going to start off with Cecilia to give us an update on the weather conditions. Well, we want to check out our Fox Rad Storm Seeker radar. First of all, looking at the wide view, just about everywhere in and around Harris County, we have got this heavy uh, freezing rain right now. Some places it is coming down pretty heavy, and I'm sure that's why, as Christine Galvan mentioned, that some of the accumulations are fairly high. Street spotter mode right now, just so you can kind of see some of the streets that will be getting some of this freezing rain very shortly. West Little York Road. Also up further to the north, uh, Aldine Mail Road. And we can zoom in just to, even a little bit closer. The reason why I'm doing this is just I want people to know in these neighborhoods that, uh, you know, if you're not getting the, the sleet and the freezing rain right now, please don't think that it's done because we've got more coming in. Here's some of your smaller roads, Hartwick Road, and a little closer to West Little York Road. We've got Skinner Road. So we've got more freezing rain on the way to northern Harris County. And as a matter of fact, let's take a look at the big view. Also looking down here to to the southeast. This is one of the few places that is not showing up as having some freezing rain right now uh, around the uh, just south of the League City area. That seems to be the cutoff for us. Folks in Texas City, you're okay. Galveston, you're okay. But look up to the north, a little bit further to the north around uh, League City here. I would suspect that we're getting some icing on some of these elevated bridges and overpasses up around the League City area. Another uh, target place that we're looking at that we're concerned about is out to the west, the southwest west of Houston because there's some very heavy rain uh, falling there right now. Sugarland, Rosenberg, we have the potential for some accumulations of about half an inch on some of these uh, uh, higher elevated feeder uh, overpasses and bridges. So half an inch accumulation, not beyond uh, the realm of possibility. And with very cold temperatures in place, that is going to cause us to have some ice around for quite a while this morning. And now let's talk about temperatures. Let's go over to meteorologist Do John Dawson in the Fox 26 Weather Center. It's a very, very unfortunate and sad situation, Cecilia. And we're going to get some more details and bring those to you uh, momentarily. But first, let's talk about the weather conditions. Yeah, those workers, they're our heroes right now. They're out there risking life and limb to try to help us get through this wintry weather in a better way. Well, we are debuting today our dual polarization radar. This is our Fox Red Storm Seeker. Normal radars have just about one pole, if you want to make it simple. But this one has two. And the reason that's an advantage is because it gives you a much better assessment in a three dimensional dimensional space of where you're seeing things like heavy rain, hail, and in this case, it delineates between rain and also freezing rain. And we can take a look at the east side here, just to the north of Pasadena right now. Some of these little blips that you're seeing are these little spotty areas that are a different color. These are areas that uh, we can query. And uh, grapple, by the way, is just ice pellets. So if you're out here on the east side uh, to the north of Pasadena and you're saying, man, it, it looks like snow or something, that's like ice that's falling down. Let's take a look at some of the areas maybe a little bit further to the west. And by the way, that whole scene was blue. That's because we just pretty much have freezing rain over almost the entire area. Closer into the Houston metro, uh, we've got some more of these little areas right here showing some ice uh, 
pellets coming down. So if you're out and about and you're saying it's hailing, well, it's, it's, it's ice pellets. And this is rain right here, but it's probably freezing on contact with at least the elevated surfaces because temperatures in the area right now. Until noon today in we, our area. That's right. We are your Gulf Coast Weather Authority. Let's get right to it with Cecilia Sinclair. Cecilia, when can we expect to see a warm up? How about this afternoon? Really? That's good. We, we got to get all the way up until noontime. We're getting some great photos, by the way, on our website. We've got one from New Waverly, somebody named JCZ or something like that. And I think we have that photo through our uh, CyberFox cubicle. Maybe we could pull that up and show some of the icicles that have been forming up in New Waverly. Look at that. Boy, there's just been a lot of rain, and with those freezing temperatures, we're getting icicles, and out, uh, we're getting the accumulation on some of the branches, and, and so uh, wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some power uh, outages as some of the branches break. Well, right now, we're looking at our Fox Red Storm Seeker radar. We have three weather people in-house running the show here as far as the weather side of things go, team weather, and this is... Uh, uh, Chris Palmgren, who's going to be kind of manipulating this for us. He's a Fox Red Storm Seeker expert. Temperatures also showing up on there, and you can see that we've got temperatures in the 20s right now up around Brenham, and uh, lots of pink showing up in and around the city of Houston. That is freezing rain. It's raining, and the rain is freezing on contact with the surface. And we're also getting some reports of uh, some, some uh, ice pellets that are falling. And so if you're outside and you're saying, oh my goodness, it's snowing, well, I guess you could call it snow, but it's ice pellets that are falling because the air is just so cold out there. Now, one good thing that we've noticed just in the last hour or so, maybe this is a sign of some relief in sight, is that the temperature has warmed up a little bit at Bush Airport. It's up to 34 degrees there right now. This is the first time in a few hours that I've seen the temperature go up above freezing. And we're lapsing this right now so that you can see that, unfortunately, there is some more freezing rain moving in from the west. But that is a very encouraging sign that the temperature is up to 34 degrees at Bush Airport, a trend hopefully that will continue to intensify quickly now that the sun is up over the clouds. I don't expect the clouds to break, but the sun will help us warm up some. So we've got the freezing rain continuing and we do have the ice storm warning until noon. Let's see how we're doing area wide and also forecast wide. We're going to go over to meteorologist John Dawson in the Fox 26 Weather Center. John. Yeah, Cecilia says it could get warmer later this afternoon. Yes, and it's, it's already getting warmer, but first I want to show you a really cool photo that was sent to us by Jose Perez, Perez, and uh, this photo is one of the many that we've been getting. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, this one is from JCZ. This was up in New Waverly, but uh, we had another photo for you from Cyprus, and maybe we can get that on momentarily. There you go. It's so cold and so icy that the ice is accumulating on vehicles even, and we talked about, you know, this uh, scenario that happened back in January of uh, 1997. That was my first weekend on the air here. Well, we got a lot better technology in the house now, and uh, this is our Fox Red Storm Seeker radar. It's still showing some freezing rain in and around the Houston area, but we're also noticing with our temperature uh, tracker here that temperatures are going up. So it's up to 34 degrees right now at Bush Airport, and that was freezing just in the last hour. So we're seeing some light, maybe some hope here that uh, things are going to start to warm up and give us a chance to melt some of the ice off of these roadways in and around the Houston area.